Now, I know this combination has been around for a while. To be honest with you, I'm not doing anything new. Um, I see a lot of YouTubers that use this combination. No Land Beyond and the Happy Pigeon. I mean, not the Happy Pigeon, the Sidearm. Um, but, you know, I, I think you know, it's kind of hard for a lot of people to wrap their minds around because... I think a lot more people would do it if they were much more comfortable with it because I mean to be honest with you No land beyond. I mean, it's 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 got the you know, the iron sights it's, I mean, it's just not comfortable, you know, even walking around I always feel like if I'm aiming down sights the sights always bobbing around and moving around So what did I do? Now, I'm, I'm not gonna talk very much. I'm just gonna let the, let the gameplay kind of roll. What did I do to um you know, to make this combination work for me. So, first things first. You'll see, actually, I throw a lot of grenades in this video. Um, I, I'm doing what I call, um, or what, you know, you can call priming. Um, one tick of my grenade, I know, it's going to be around, like, it's going to take around half their health, okay? Um, the lightning grenade. So, you see right there, um, you know, a well-placed lightning grenade is... I mean, better than any gun sometimes. I killed their whole team pretty much trying to go for the heavy. But um, what I know is, is I know if I get them with a lightning grenade, from that point on, I'm only looking to hit them. Body shot, whatever. I'm not look. I'm not gonna set the time up to line up a headshot. I'm not gonna, um, you know, I'm not gonna take that time because I know anywhere I hit them after I prime them with the no land beyond is gonna be a kill. Um, so that's one thing to kind of get through your head. So you need to start looking at people and looking at their health bars and paying attention to that kind of stuff. Because if you see them um, taking some damage, if you see them, you know, uh, having, uh, uh, getting body shot or team shot from somebody else, just, just keep in mind, I can body shot this guy and, and end it. Um, so, I mean, that's one of the things that I've noticed that um, it becomes, where this gun becomes really, really powerful. Um, it's when the, you know, when they have the shields gone that you're fighting somebody. So you got to keep that in mind. It may Every seem like simple um, information, um, but, I mean, it's it's something to really think about. I actually tried to go for that shot there. But the other guy got me. Um, another thing is, is, is to pair this correctly. Um, I really feel like, to be honest with you, the best combination you can have with this No Land Beyond is going to be the sidearm. Um, and the reason for that is if you're new, using the No Land Beyond correctly, you're already going to have some distance on these people. You're already going to have, uh, you're already going to be in a position where you're not necessarily right up on these people. You know what I mean? Um, so in any situation, if you're using this properly, you know, you're not going to be charging into a group of people on point B. You see me, I'm circling around it. Um, I'm not jumping directly in. And, and eventually I will once we have this area under control. Uh, you'll see that a little bit later. But being smart, see even here, I relocate. I felt a rocket that, you know, just kind of tapped me. I relocate, I get back, I get that shot. And I see that he's low on health. I just need to hit him anywhere. Um, but... The, the Havoc Pigeon is really great for this combination, just getting back to my other point, just because it is a high damage sidearm, um, and the vendor version actually has a quick draw. Now, I know people are going to, you know, say, oh, but Leon, or excuse me, Daddy Fat Snaps, whatever, whatever you want to call me, <laughs> um, you know, uh, the extended range is better, the extended mag is better. You know, and I'm, to be honest with you, I'm treating this thing as a, uh, a backup to, I mean, as a replacement for any other side ops. It'd be the, you know, the other sniper or uh, the shotgun. So because of that, you know, really, I want to be able to draw this thing as quickly as possible to finish off opponents. And you'll see in this video, um, talking about the range, I have the base range um, on this sidearm for the re remainder of the game, uh, remainder of the games that you see, and you'll see I get some really far shots. Now it may not be doing as much damage as it would have been doing, or you know the aim assist may not be as good because I know that's how range works. But I'm telling you, dude, it, it is it is more than possible. I've gotten some there's some kills in this video in particular with the sidearm with the base range that are pretty far that are pushing the range of a of a sidearm. Um, and the other thing, I mean, just to kind of think of, too, is just evade. I know it sounds, you know, and that's not the sexiest thing. It's not the, you know, the coolest thing to run away from fights. But, you know, you got to get yourself some space if you want this thing to be efficient. Um, now, every now and again, of course, obviously, if you're a good sniper, you can get those shots off. But, you know, the key here is to make sure that you have enough space um, so that you can, uh, if need be, pull out that. I don't know why I didn't just take the shot right there. I don't know what that was doing there. <laughs> but the key is just to give yourself space so that you you know have the ability to make changes see here I had enough just enough space 
that this guy, I don't know what he was, he's just floating around, but, and, I mean, it's embarrassing that I miss all those sidearm shots, but <laughs> I had to get, like, the whole clip on him. That's probably why I was a 3.2 that game. Um, but the key here is just to, you know, obviously give yourself enough space to be able to react um, and be able to get three or four shots off with your Havoc Pigeon if need be. Um, but really, I mean, again, that's that's what I'm... Uh, I just wanted to post this video. I, I tried to make a quick change uh, to my gameplay. I was getting wrecked, um, and I decided, you know what? I'm just going to try something different. I'm going to slow my gameplay down. I'm not going to go in there gung-ho, charging in like I normally do. I'm going to take my time, take good shots, you know, um, uh, line up my shots, and, and just, you know, see how that goes. And it went really well for me. It was a good change of pace. It, it re-familiarized me with that <laughs> that play style. And, um, you know, I was able to get back on track shortly after this. But it was fun. Um, I suggest, you know, I know a lot of people out there talking about, you know, uh, the content's a little bit dry. Look, hold on. This is the one I was talking about. Look how far this is. That's really pushing the limits there. Come on. You don't need that range. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it was great. Um, priming him right there. See? Body shot. Bunch of... I think I do it here again, too. Hold on. I know he's in the doorway. He's got nowhere to go. Prime. Body shots. Got him. Um, but... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it's, you know, obviously it's a little bit something different from my channel. I don't think I've ever posted a No Land Beyond video on here. Um, to be honest with you, you can even go through my stats. I rarely use this gun. And the other day, I just, I mean, I used it the entire day I was playing. So, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Gained the lead. Only one minute left. Lost the lead. You're in the lead. Nice work, Guardians. Your efforts have been noted. <laughs>